pesto on them, all stuffed as they should be. <laughs> I got out. 
truck. I got out fast, as fast as I could go, sir. I wasn't scared. <clears throat> but pants like that, I did not care for. No, sir. After that, a week went by. When one dark night in Greenwich, I had to run an errand. I had to get some Greenwich spinach. And, well, I fetched the spinach and was starting back through town when those pants raced around the corner and almost knocked me down. I lost my Greenwich spinach. But I didn't even care. I ran for home. Believe me, I really had a scare. Now, bicycles were never made for pale green pants to ride them especially spooky pale green pants with nobody inside them. And the next night, I was fishing for doubt trout on Ruber River when those pants came rowing toward me. Well, I started in to shiver, and by now I was so frightened that I tell you, but I hate to, I screamed, ah! and <laughs> rode away and lost my hook and line and bait too. I ran and found a brickle bush. I hid myself away. I got brickles in my britches, but I stayed there anyway. I stayed all night, and the next night, too, I'd be there still, no doubt. But I had to run an errand, so the next night I went out. I had to do an errand. I had to pick a peck of snide that was in a dark and gloomy snide field that was almost nine miles wide. I said I do not fear those pants with nobody inside them. I said and said and said those words. I said them, but I lied them. And then I reached inside a snide bush, and the next thing that I knew, I felt my ah! hand touch someone, and I'll bet that you know who. And there I was caught in the snide, in that dreadful place those spooky empty pants were, and I were standing face to face. I yelled for help, I screamed, I shrieked, I held, I yelled, I cried. Oh, save me from these pale green pants with nobody inside. <laughs> and then a strange thing happened. Those pants began to cry. Those pants began to tremble. They were just as scared as I. I never heard such whimpering. And I began to see that I was just as strange to them as they were strange to me. So I put my arm around their waist, and I sat right down beside them. I calmed them down. Poor empty pants with nobody inside them. And now, we meet quite often, those empty pants and I, and we never shake or tremble. We both smile, and we say hi.